Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'll be doing a quick review of this Autel MS309 and we're going to see what it can unlock and if it works as advertised. So with my ignition on, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It could only go in one way. And now to go ahead and enter setup, push enter. See how quickly this does it. Okay, perfect. So four codes found. I'm going to go into read codes. And this is pretty cool. The uh, the cheaper version, the MS300, for example, does not let you go into the transmission. This one does. And I have a couple of generic codes here. And these are because the mass airflow sensor is unplugged. I know what all these are. It tells you what the problem, the generic uh, code is for the problem on the actual screen. So that's pretty cool. Let's go into the transmission. There's no transmission codes, but that's definitely an added feature to have on this just for a few dollars more. I'm really impressed with that. Let's see if we can actually view monitors. And we're going to choose the engine monitor since cleared. Since drive cycle and then since cleared, we're going to go ahead and check the top one. And it tells us that the check engine light is on and the top ones are ready. The And some of these other ones are okay. And okay, okay, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what, how these monitors play in. So I'm going to erase these codes. And so if somebody clears the check engine light before you go and buy the car, you might know why you're going to have a hard time passing a smog or an emissions test where they check these monitors. Now I go into the same engine module. And since last cleared, and as you can see, it says incomplete now right here. INC, those are incomplete monitors. So if you're buying this vehicle, you may want to go for a longer test drive, get all the monitors set before you write that check or you hand over the cash so overall I'm really impressed with this mo with this little scanner here I'm gonna play around with it for a few more minutes so this scanner has got a few extras in there that some of the cheaper ones don't have if you actually scroll down to the very bottom right here go into vehicle info and you want to go ahead and make sure the key is on right with the engine off like we have with the ignition on and I'm gonna go into the top one engine and here you can actually look up the vehicle ID or the VIN number, which you could do on some of the cheaper scanners as well. But now you get the calibration ID and the California verification a number. I think that's what that stands for right there. And you can do the same thing on the transmission side as well. And these are calibration numbers. I have no idea what you use those for, but this uh, does allow you to enter that menu so overall I definitely recommend this I'll have a link to this below you may also want to look at the the MS319 which is the one in color and it makes it a little easier when you're in this screen it gives you a snapshot of the vehicle and I'll have a link to that in the description below as well to the video and to the actual scanner so I hope this video helped you guys out give it a thumbs up let me know if you guys have any comments Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.